So what happens if these things don't match? Look at this. I've got a 3y here. I've got a negative y here. They don't match. But remember what we did in the last question? They didn't match very well either, and I just multiplied it by negative 1. As long as I do the same thing to both sides. If I multiply by one side, I multiply the other side by the same number. And look what I'm going to do. is I'm going to multiply this whole thing, left side and right side, by 3. Now you're probably saying, well, why 3? Well, look, I'm not touching this one. This is 2x plus 3y equals to 4. Didn't touch it. But this one, look at this. Look, 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 look what happens. 3 times 4x is now 12x. 3 times minus y, check it. Look at that. This is positive 3y. This is minus 3y. And guess what? They're going to eliminate. But don't forget, I got to keep going. 3 times 22 gives me 66. Oh, Boy, that's going to give me big numbers, isn't it? Well, no. If you got a problem, again, boot up the calculator and work it out. So add this. You're going to notice that this is 3y and this is negative 3y, which is going to eliminate. This is 2x plus 12x, which is going to give you 14x, equals to 4 plus 66, which is going to give you 70. Now, all you got to do is divide by, yep, 14 and 14, and guess what? X equals to 5. Beautiful. Look how simple and straightforward that was. Take that 5 and go back to one of the original equations. Here we go. I'm going to go back to, hmm, I wonder which one. I'm going to go back to the first one. You know why I'm going to choose the first one? Because this is too big of a number. That's it. That's the only reason why. So 2X plus 3Y equals to 4. I'm going to substitute in the value that I just found, which was 5 for x, right? 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3y equals to 4. Then subtract 10 from both sides, subtract 10 from both sides. You got 3y equals to negative 6. Divide by 3, divide by 3, y equals to negative 2. And because this is an x and y, you can give this as a coordinate now, 5 minus 2, that's your answer. How pretty is that?